50 useful phrases to use at school by learning this lesson you will be able to know 50 sentences that you can use in your daily life at school there are many phrases those we talk with our friends and teachers at school in this video we are going to see 50 such phrases which help us to improve our spoken skill i'll definitely pass through or i'll definitely get through that means you will definitely pass the exam he doesn't know anything if you want to blame your friend you can say he doesn't know anything he don't know anything is wrong he doesn't know anything we have completed or finished our studies so if you have got through your exam and if a friend is asking what are you doing we have completed our studies he is good for nothing that means again you are blaming your friend he is good for nothing that means he doesn't know anything when does our examination begin it's a normal question that you use when speaking with your friends when does our examination begin that means when is your examination what does this mean if you don't know about anything maybe a word a sentence or an image whatever it is you can ask what does this mean i'll pass my ordinary level this year so if you are going to take your o level exam this year you can say i'll pass my ordinary level this year i couldn't study anything today maybe you are ill and if you were unable to study that day you can say i couldn't study anything today he failed in his scholarship examination last year so this is a past event so you have to use past tense he failed in his scholarship examination last year this question is very easy if your teacher is asking you a question or maybe your friends or relatives whoever if they ask you a question and if you know the answer you can say the question is very easy you have passed the examination for example if your friend didn't come to school and you have seen his or her examination result and when informing them you can say you have passed the examination why don't you let me study this is a question so if a friend or maybe your younger brother or sister if they are just coming and disturbing you when you are studying you can say why don't you let me study that means leave me to study i know how to speak english so here you are emphasizing yourself i know how to speak english you can add i know how to dance I know how to sing. In which school are you? So if you are asking maybe your tuition class friend if you want to ask in which school he is you can ask in which school are you? In which college are you? He is good at English. If you want to say someone is good at something you have to use at He is good in English is wrong. He is good at English. He is good at sports. He is a good sportsman. He is a good musician. 
he's a good player so if you want to say that someone is good in something you can use like that your handwriting is not good so this is obvious when you talk with your friend you used to tell this right children that your handwriting is not good or if the handwriting is very beautiful you can say your handwriting is very good so for both you can change some words and use what are you looking at why don't you pay attention you can use this sentence when you are explaining something to your student or maybe your friends and they are not listening to you and sometimes they may be doing something with the phone or they may be looking at somewhere so you can ask them what are you looking at why don't you pay attention our school will be closed for holidays from tomorrow so if you are about to have your holidays you can say this our school will be closed for vacation from tomorrow also can be used but mostly vacation is an american term and holidays are the british term so in sri lanka we used to follow british english so holidays are even better than vacation boys time is over hand in your papers so this is when you are doing examination and if the time is up you can tell them hand in your papers the new timetable will come into force from 1st may so for example if you are in a new term or maybe some changes in the school timetable so you can tell your students that the new timetable will come into force that means that we are going to use the new timetable okay we are not on speaking terms that means if you are angry with somebody and you are not talking to each other so you can tell another friend that we are not on speaking terms we are not on visiting terms this means that you don't have a good relationship between both of you or maybe some groups mathematics is my bugbear bugbear means the problem or the worry so for some people mathematics is their bugbear for some people english of course is a bugbear so you can say mathematics is my bugbear he is junior to me by 1 year so if you are studying grade 6 the grade 5 students are junior to you by 1 year so you can say he is junior to me by 1 year he is junior to me by 3 years who has said this paper this is also a normal and general question that you use with your friends if a question paper is hard you will ask who has said this paper this is so tough or if the paper is too easy you will say who has said this paper this is very easy paper so you can ask like that it is time for school for example you are just going to drop your friend so just imagine that you both of you are going together for the school and if your friend is too late you can tell hi team come quickly it is time for school the boy recited a poem so this is also a normal sentence that you can use he has got a distinction in english so this is grading distinction merit pass normal pass there are many things so he has got a distinction in english have you offered arts or science so this thing you can't talk with your friend but if you want to clarify some information from a school or college you can ask have you offered arts or science that you are not clear whether they are giving arts or science so you can inquire like that which books in english have you read 
so if you know that your friend is interested in reading something reading books so you can ask him which books in english have you read i am too tired to attend the class so this is a really nice sentence that you can use in english too too so always i am too tired then you have to add to the short form i am too tired to attend the class that means you are so tired you are unable to attend the class i read a very interesting book last night so this sounds like read but you have to sound read i read a very interesting book last night so it's a past tense he is weak in english so before we have seen about he is good at english but this is weak he is weak in english in this case we can't say he is weak at english okay so weak in english but good at english you have to have in mind she has been absent since last week if your friend is not coming to school from last week you can say since she has been absent since last week i had no time to finish the work if you didn't have the time you can say i had no time to finish the work she takes keen interest in her studies keen means very 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 interest so she takes keen interest in her studies if you pass your parents will be happy this is a if format this thing is didn't happen yet but you are telling if you pass your parents will be happy it's going to happen in the future how are you getting on with studies that means how are you are you studying at home or whether are you going for the classes okay is, is it easy for you so how are you getting on with studies it's an indirect way of asking how they are doing i have been in this school for 2 years so this means that you are in that school for 2 years the duration is 2 years your school is very good this is a very simple thing he often runs away from the school if you have a friend who doesn't like to come to school you can say he often runs away from the school why do you chatter nonsense that means when a teacher is teaching or maybe you are talking something seriously if your friends are talking something unnecessary or unrelevant to the topic you can say why do you chatter nonsense chatter means talking i don't have a spare pen spare means extra i don't have an extra pen or i don't have a spare pen stop yapping again yapping is like chatter talking unnecessary talks the boy did not come to school if your friend is absent you can say he is the best boy in the class if you have one boy who is best you have to use the best he is the best boy in the class he is ahead of me in mathematics that means he is very clever than you he is ahead of me in english a good student brings credit to the class credits mean fame a good name a good student brings credits to the class he is dropping out of the examination this year if your friend has planned that he is not going to take the examination you can say he is dropping out of the examination instead of saying he is not doing the examination this year now you are able to speak 50 sentences which you can use in your daily life at school thank you